Hello and welcome to Tyrannus Gaming. Today we'll be covering Wisp, the only Warframe, who will casually just bake you a cake and also say thank you. Let's go with 20 times corrupted Lancers. The AI will be Steel Path. We will pause them so I can explain what's going on. The enemy level will be 130. And you may have noticed that Wisp did sparkle when she was airborne. This may be a sign that she is the prettiest Warframe. However, I will let you know it also means that she is invisible to the naked eye. Now, let's discuss her number one ability. Vitality Reservoir as you'll have noticed on the top right, gives us plus 300 health and 30 health regeneration per second, and the duration is infinite until we leave this ring, and in which it will last for 30 seconds. This is Haste Reservoir. First, you'll notice that I have a rather decent fire rate. However, it is now noticeably faster. This also increases our base movement speed. Now we'll discuss Shock Reservoir. This pretty much does as advertised and pretty much every enemy hit by it will not be able to return fire and attack you. This is called Crowd Control and no matter the difficulty level this is incredibly useful, as it will prevent meat cleavers and dogs that like to nip at your toes from coming anywhere near you. And as you'll notice, Wisp has learned that you don't let dogs nip at your feet. Now, let's discuss her number two ability. As you'll see, this is her ghost. If you tap it a second time, you can simply move to another location. However, her ghost will taunt the enemy and direct all fire to it. Now, let's utilize her number three ability, also known as Breach Surge. This will blind all enemies that it touches can cause your damage to increase twofold. As you can see, it killed him rather quickly and had nothing to do with my overpowered Dotva. Now, the primary thing I want you to notice here is that the enemies, who are sparkly, are completely blind. And, as long as the shock mode is procced, This will continuously act as a natural crowd control and a shock note can spread breach surge. This is very useful if you happen to lose your sense of awareness and forget you're surrounded by enemies. As the shock note will strike up to five targets and the breach surge will continue to spread like wildfire. And if you cast Breach Surge on one of your very beautiful moats over here, it will double the range of the Breach Surge. This means you can crowd control by simply returning to your point of origin and do literally nothing, as level 9,999 enemies will also be blinded and stunned and irradiated for a very long time. Now let's discuss her number 4 ability, also known as Soulgate. 
Soul Gate opens up the gate to the sun, unleashing the fiery hells upon the enemy. And, as you'll note, it inflicts radiation damage and heat damage. This means you can not only do damage over time, you'll notice that their overall armor is cut in half. And, the radiation damage can be sweet. Meaning that all enemies can potentially become under the stun, confused, and blinded, preventing entire crowds from hurting you or your allies, and thanks to the radiation procs, increasing up to 325% damage returned from one enemy to another as they shoot in a situation known as blue on blue or friendly fire. They can do drastic amounts of damage to each other, especially since you cut their armor in half and they're still dying from heat rocks. And, unlike most Warframes, you can do this to an entire crowd. And, under the right conditions, with a completely max ranged wisp, you can effectively disintegrate an entire horde. Let's get rid of our involuntary volunteers. Or as the government likes to say, compulsory volunteers. We are going to discuss a couple hidden features of Soulgate. The first one that we are going to discuss is that if you hit use Soulgate, and simply pull the right trigger as though you're firing a gun, it will increase your damage by 50% every half second until it reaches 500% damage output. This is what that will look like. And as you'll notice, we didn't quite expend 200 energy, and we nearly insta-killed them. Now, Let's gather up the precious candies, and hopefully we don't get trapped under a box. Now, we're going to discuss her number four with the three reservoirs attached at the same time. Two of these will increase her number four ability by 100% damage, and the third one will add corrosive procs, not corrosive damage, but corrosive procs to our soul gate, allowing us to do something rather funny. and just disintegrate an entire horde of Grenier while the remainders try to figure out what they're going to do when they're suffering from crippling PTSD. Now, you may be thinking, hey, you didn't kill them all, Tyrannus. And I will tell you, that is because, as you may have noticed, our final weapon in our arsenal is in fact our weapon which is increased fire rate from our moats. So let's finish them off. And as I can say this, I don't think there will be need for a full on demonstration of her abilities. As you can tell, this wisp is overpowered. And, as you may have noticed, my Gatva here has more than made up for the deficiencies in my max strength build. Now, I hope you learned something new today, and I hope that my endgame build did not put you off from attempting to use Soul Gate or any of the other abilities demonstrated here. Thank <laughs> you.
and one last note, if you utilize Soulgate and then use number two, you can teleport while firing it off. Now, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.